Hello everyone and welcome back. As now for the 62nd episode I'm going to analyze none other than the core, the main antagonist of Amphibia. A malevolent AI who is hell-bent to conquer the multiverse, the core deserves a create to be easily one of the most realistic villains ever made in animation, as coupled with the fact that artificial intelligence such as ChatGPT is already part of everyone's life, and to be honest with you, it's not hard to see an evil AI like the core becoming a reality in the future, and in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about it throughout the series, to understand the core, and exactly why it's this way to begin with, and now without further ado, let's dive in. Before I analyze the core, we first need to understand the exact circumstances of its creation. Apparently, with circa in the year 8000 BC, with 10,000 years before the events of the series, the Calamity Guardian has sent the three Calamity Stones to Amphibia in order to see how mortals will deal with limitless power. But with this appointment, mortals have dealt pretty much horrible, in the sense that they abuse the stone's powers for their own benefit, much like the elites of Utopia, who although they managed to create a technologically advanced civilization, they use the stones for evil, as they use them to conquer and invade entire worlds, and destroy entire species and mine their worlds for resources. And by using the stones, they managed to create an evil AI known as the Core, a collection of all of Amphibia's greatest minds and former leaders, unified together as a singular consciousness. And thus, the Core will ultimately come to, to be the, um, the de facto ruler of Amphibia, with the king becoming nothing more but a figurehead and a puppet for the Core's evil plans. And ultimately, every single time a king will die, their mind will be transferring to the Core. And thus, for thousands of years, the core continued to rule Amphibia in the shadows, meanwhile invading and conquering entire worlds and dimensions for their own resources. However, with circa around the year 1000 AD, with a millennium before the events of the series, everything has fallen apart for the core, as when King Aldrich introduced his son to the Calamity Box, and then Andreas introduced his friends to the box, and then one of his friends managed to touch it and got a vision about Amphibia's incoming doom. She tried to warn everyone that misusing the box might result in Amphibia's destruction. However, her warning fell on deaf ears, and so she stole on the box and hid it away on Earth, thus causing the first fall of the core, with the advanced society being destroyed and much of Amphibia was reduced to a medieval level society. And because of this, the core remained trapped underground, officially waiting for a day when the box would return, as it knows about that thanks to the old prophecy, a prophecy made by the Olds that foreshadows the course in defeat. Three stars burning bright come from beyond to expel the night. Wherever they fight or embrace the fall, their choice shall determine the fate of all. This is the prophecy associated with the upcoming of three beings from another dimension. They will ultimately use the stone's powers in order to destroy the core and free Amphibia from its clutches. And so for a thousand years the core has patiently waited for the stone's return, and meanwhile King Aldrich eventually died and his mind was assimilated into the core, while Andreas became the next king of Amphibia, and much like the ones before him he too was nothing more but a pawn for the core's plans. However, by the year 2019, everything changed with the arrival of three human girls, and Bunchoi, Sasha Waybright and Marcy Wu, uh, and the three stars from the own prophecy. And while the core wanted to kill Marcy when she arrived in, in Utopia, Andreas managed to change the AI's mind by proposing a plan in which he will befriend Marcy and then lure her friends in Uto to Utopia in order to pretend that he will help them to return back on Earth. All the meanwhile the girls will annoyingly recharge the box for Andreas and the core. The core was agreed to the plan and proceed, as eventually after ending the plan that's arrived in Utopia, and she day alongside with Marcy managed to arrive to each temple in order to recharge the stones, as Andreas promised them that he will help them to return back on Earth. And the plan ultimately succeeded, as when Andreas regained back the box, he revealed his true colors to Anne and the others, and his plan to have conquered the multiverse starting with Earth. Anne and all her friends and allies came together in order to take a stand against Andreas, a stand which resulted in Anne and the planters coming on Earth, Marcy being seemingly killed by Andreas, and Sasha and Grime escaped back to the rest of Amphibia. But Marcy was put into stasis in order to prepare her for the Core's plans, as when Olivia and Yunan arrived to save her, the Core and Songsai with Andreas revealed themselves and their true goal, to possess Marcy and take over his body as a host. The core succeeded with that as well, and now posing as Darcy, which is the short for Dark Marcy, and proceeds to retake back control over Amphibia and turn the entire world into nothing more but a desolated wasteland, as when Anne and her friends came back on Amphibia and rally up the resistance against the core, their attempt to take Utopia has met with a failure, as now the core, after so many centuries of preparation, finally launched the invasion of Earth. On and even forced Anne and the others to watch how it's about to destroy their planet. 
And now before I go any further, we also stop and ask ourselves, is the core evil? And I try to understand the question sincerely, but I should be noted here that the core is the collection of all of Amphibia's greatest minds and former rulers, and thus, it could theoretically count more like an organization rather than an unified entity, not to mention it's an artificial intelligence and basically copies all the ones who came before it. However, even Matt Braley, the creator of the city, stated that the core is its own entity, only influenced by the minds inside it, and this too could potentially count as a redeeming quality, given the fact that evil rulers such as Aldrich, who is confirmed to be pure evil, might have influenced the core, its personality and its actions. However, because it has all these people inside it, that means they should also be morally aware of all the horrible things they is doing, as the fact that not only the core seems to be like that, but the worst part is the fact that it enjoys all the horrible things that it's doing. Not to mention that in the end it's proven that it is willing to destroy Amphibia itself in spite for revenge, thus proving that it never cared at all about its home, but only about the stones and their power, and thus the answer to the question is definitely yes. The core is evil, and much like Aldrich, it too can count as pure evil, and eventually the invasion of Earth proved to be a disaster, as Andreas was defeated by any combat, and the core itself was defeated in combat by Sasha, and Marcy was liberated from his control, and thus its forces were brought back to Amphibia. However, this defeat is not the end for the core, as it secretly survived and attached itself to the one of the amphibious moons, willing to use it in order to crush it on the planet, to destroy amphibia and all life on it, which resulted in Anne and the others gaining the power of the Calamity Stones in order to stop it, and then Anne herself got all the gems' powers, so she can destroy the core once and for all, and so he did it, with the core finally being gone, freeing amphibia from its clutches and saving the multiverse. However, his defeat came at a cost, as Anne has been temporarily killed in the process, and later on resurrected by the Calamity Guardian, the creator of the stones, who wants now to make Annie to his successor, and afterwards the girls return back on Earth, and all of Amphibia moved on, as now ten years later, by 2029, everyone forget about the course legacy, and decide to create one of their own, thus finally leaving all the millennia he spent trying to conquer the multiverse in complete vain. So in the end, who was the core? It was nothing more but a megalomaniacal AI who only wanted power and glory in its own name, a monster that would do anything and sacrifice anybody and anything to achieve his goals, and a monster that could easily be called as one of the most darkest and the most realistic villains ever made in animation. Thanks for watching everyone, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and have a nice day.